So recently within Fallout 76 for the Wild Appalachia DLC, there was Nuka-Cola Quantum Power Armor paint added. As you can see, here is what it looks like. Hands down, I have to admit, it does look nice. If you're interested in this, I'm going to be showing how to get this in this video. Also, I want to make it clear that I am not the founder of this. This was actually shown to the community by a person on YouTube that goes by Pure Savagery. He made a step-by-step -step video guide over how to get this and all I'm doing is just passing on the information that he just recently shared. Once again, this was just recently added within the Wild Appalachia DLC. So let's go ahead and get into how to get this. First things first, in order to retrieve this awesome Nuka-Cola Quantum Power Armor paint job plan, we're going to have to head to the Nuka-Cola factory and enter through the front entrance over here. As you can see, this is what the outside will look like. Once in, we are going to want to make our way to the bathroom, which is located over here on the left. It'll actually be a locked door, but it doesn't require a skill level to unlock. So it should be a breeze as long as you got bobby pins to spare. Once inside though, you just want to go inside this stall and close the door and it should actually be right underneath where you just closed the door at. So yeah, this will be where the first key card is located at. Next up, we'll be heading all the way over to Tanagra Town, which is located on the complete opposite side of the map. Once over here though, we'll have to climb to the top of Tanagra Town, which in case you don't know how to get to the top, I'll let this gameplay footage play out and then start talking again once we're at the top. So once we are up here, we'll want to head into this house and jump over this gap. This may take a few tries, especially if you don't have the marsupial mutation. But eventually, once you make it over to this side, this is where the second key card will be located. It'll be located on the floor here. Next, we'll be traveling over to the crash plane location, which isn't nearly as far of a trek as you can see. It'll be located right here. Once here, we're going to be locating a Nuka-Cola marketing access code, and this we'll have to punch in later. And you can actually find this access code inside this suitcase underneath the crash plane that's intertwined with vines above. I will mention the suitcase can be a little tricky to spot out with the shadowing. Anyways, once we have this, now we're going to want to head over to the Ingram Mansion and use the terminal in the back. The terminal will actually be located in this room where it seems like the windows were busted out to enter inside. Not too sure in the lore if there is any on who actually busted these out to get inside. But yeah, this is where we're going to want to enter in and as you can see, there will be a terminal located on the wall in here. This terminal will only have one option to use, which is to generate a one-time key code. Once you generate the key code, you're going to want to write it down or, hey, if you want to be brave, just try to remember it. Keep in mind, this is a completely random generated key code. So if you enter it wrong at the next area that we have to go to, you're going to have to come back here and get another one. And it'll be completely different. So anyways, once we have the key code, we're now going to want to head over to the Overlook Cabin, which is overlooking Nougat. Anyways, once we're over here, we are going to want to go down into the basement of this place. And the basement can actually be located by taking a right when you first enter, and then another right, and then another right to get down into the basement. Now down here, we'll need to use the key cards that we just previously got. There also may be a few enemies down here as well. As you can see though, we can use the key cards on these ID card readers, and this will trigger a secret door to open. I have to say this is pretty neat down here. Anyways, now this will be the place where we'll need to use that one time generated key code that we just got earlier. Once we enter the correct key code, that should chain react another secret door to be opened down here. And in this one, we'll be able to find TNT Dome Key 7. And if this key isn't here, sadly it wasn't for me quite a few times. 
and I had to hop servers until it was there and keep in mind each time I hop servers to retry this I had to do it all over again so I had to get key card one key card two and that one time generated key code yeah it was tedious I'm not gonna lie but eventually I did get TNT done key seven you may have a friend that already has this, which if that friend has this and is willing to just give it up to you or maybe help you unlock this dome to get this Nuka Cola Quantum Power Armor paint job, that would be nice of them. But anyways, you can actually locate this dome over at the Black Mountain Ordnance Works. It's not too far from Vault 76. This is where all the domes are located at. And you can find Dome 7 back here surrounded by giant rocks so the giant rocks can make this pretty well hidden but yeah back here you should find the entrance inside and keep in mind if these doors are opened to the dome that means someone was here previously and they already picked up the nuka cola quantum paint plan which sucks you know this can take quite a bit of server hopping to eventually get this like some of my buddies took quite a bit of hours to get this it can take a long time I'm going to mention that right now but eventually if you keep trying long enough you should see the Nuka Cola quantum paint job plan on this table which if you're having trouble locating this dome it's located exactly where my marker is and as you can see it will be located on this table inside here and also besides this Nuka Cola quantum paint plan I didn't really see nothing too significant in here but yeah that's about wrapping up this video everybody hopefully you found it enjoyable and it does help you out if you want maybe consider taking a little bit of your time and leaving a like as always though that's totally up to you i'm out of here thanks for taking the time to watch and listen until next time peace